every time you start a new project, that process, it starts again. Copying and pasting config from old projects, trying to piece it all together. When you finally think you're done, you deploy and you're put in your place by a serverless config error. But there is a better way. Hi guys, I'm Sam and I'm gonna show you how you can avoid all of that pain by using custom repo templates to kickstart your new serverless project. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video as I'm gonna be letting you in on a massive $1,500 giveaway that I'm gonna be doing very soon. Now that we are in a terminal, we can actually create our repo by running sls create dash dash template dash URL. And then I'm gonna paste in the URL of the GitHub repo but this is going to be available in the description below. And then finally, we want to describe the path we want to create the new repo in. So it's dash dash path. And I'm gonna call this API repo. If I hit enter, that will now create our new repo. If we now go and open up our new API repo, we can have a look around in here and see what we've started with. Now that we're in our new repo, we could start by running SLS deploy. And if we wanted to deploy it to our personal account, we would use dash dash AWS profile and then the name of your profile. So mine is SWS coding and hit enter. And that would deploy this brand new API to our account. But before we want to do that, let's actually look at what we would be deploying. So if we jump into our serverless.ts, we have a custom section where we actually already have a table name variable. So we could change that and that would change the name of our Dynamo table. Talking of Dynamo tables, if we go down to our resources section, we already have some Cognito resources as well as a Dynamo resource and those are coming from the serverless folder and dynamo.ts, which is creating a dynamo table with a global secondary index, as well as Cognito, it is creating a user pool, as well as all of the extra things you need to set that up. That is all automated for you. You get a dynamo table and Cognito authorization. To use those Cognito user pools, we have our functions, which again comes from the serverless folder. And here we have some cause settings. And then we have our authorizer. What this is going to do is say that for any API that uses this authorizer, they have to be part of that user pool. And this bit here actually references the user pool created in the cognito.ts folder. Therefore, we have two example Lambda endpoints, and in both of them, we have our cores and our authorizer attached to them, meaning that when you deploy this API, you need to be part of the user pool. This is the exact template I use all of the time to get started quickly with an authorized API. So if that's what you want to do, this is a great place to start. Now you've seen how quick and effortless it can be to create a new API repo with DynamoDB and Cognito authentication. You can take this even further by creating your own repo templates. But before you do, I'm also planning to release more templates covering web hosting for your React apps, as well as AppSync APIs and even more. You may also remember the $1,500 giveaway that I teased at the start of this video. When I hit that magic 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a special video where I'm gonna be giving away free AWS exam certifications to my viewers. I'm not just gonna give away one or two, but I'm gonna be giving away five worth up to $300 each for a $1,500 giveaway. You do not want to miss that video. The best way not to miss it is to make sure that you are subscribed 
and have turned on the bell notification so you get notified as soon as that video drops. Something else that might help you out is this video here. So check it out.